it, it's a gospel of the sufficiency of God and God being the Redeemer versus a gospel that is more pleasing to man. Amen. There you go. Amen. Very good. In the first three centuries, the Christian church was corrupted with paganism. This was the result of trying to seek the favor of men. Of men. The bishops decided to win the heathen over to their beliefs by relaxing some of the stricter principles of the gospel, which they did. The result, they corrupted the Christian church by compromising and perverting the truth. And this is what's happening in the Galatian churches. The gospel was being perverted. Paul, however, determined to please God instead of men. Can you think of Bible characters as well as in modern times? that determine, what does the word determine mean? The will, <laughs> determine to please God instead of men. No. Daniel. <clears throat> Daniel. Elijah. Elijah. Joseph. Joseph. Jeremiah. Moses. How about Stephen? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Some people say, I don't understand this dying to self business. Well, according to the Bible, Stephen was willing to die to self here before he was willing to what? Stone to death. Is it? How about in modern times? Do you know the book Great Controversy? You want to read chapter 6? You know what the title is? Huss and Jerome, two Catholic priests that refused to go along with the corruption in their church. And their church says, if you do not retract what you're saying about the church, we're going to burn you. And they said, so be it. And they were both burned at the stake. The historical record says that they were doing something very interesting as they're being burned on the stake, singing. They're singing songs of praise to God. How can a human being be physically burned to death and singing songs of praise to God? They have first what? Subordinated their will to God, and now physically they're willing to, whatever happens, happens. Do you think it's possible to experience that kind of conviction? Conviction today? Yes. Until God has a generation of people that experience that kind of conviction, conviction, Jesus is not coming back. Now, you asked a very important question at the beginning. Do you remember what it was? Ask it again. That even giving our will to God is the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Did everyone hear that? Mm -hmm. Giving or submitting our will or subordinating our will to God is the work of what? Oh, yeah. Something that doesn't come from me naturally. And what is the good news if I choose to subordinate or submit my will to God? Remember 1 Corinthians 10, 13? No temptation has or ever will overtake you that is not known to man. Because God is faithful and God will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to endure. And with the temptation that God permits Satan to bring into your life, God will provide a way of escape so that you can bear anything that Satan throws at you. Do you like that? Amen. Yes. Now, I've never told anyone to memorize a scripture, but that is one that you can take to the teller every day and catch it. Amen. That check will not bounce. Amen. <laughs> Any questions of what we've covered this morning? I think I heard a second siren or bell. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay, let's have prayer. Loving Father.